What's up everybody, welcome back to another FX tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you all how I created my latest photo featuring Tyra all packaged up within a few boxes. Really this one is a bit thorough, so let's get right into it. First, we went to go buy some packing peanuts from the store like these, and luckily, we had boxes laying around the house to use. I used three light sources to minimize shadows, and as you can see here, we also cut up one of our boxes in different parts so I can capture Tyra in different positions inside the box. So first things first, I pretty much took all the photos I was going to edit together into Photoshop. As you can see here, there will be a lot of layers that I will need to put together in order to create the final shot. To make things easier, I started off making sure the floor was completely covered with the styrofoam packing peanuts using multiple pictures. We didn't have enough to completely cover the floor entirely, so we moved everything from left to right while taking a new picture each time we had the packing peanuts moved. So this picture will be the background layer. I'll go ahead and move the second layer of picture as you can see here on top of the background layer I just chose using the move tool. Once I matched up the layers, I created a new layer mask on the second layer. I hit Ctrl I next in order to hide the layer we just created the mask for. Now, all I need to do is start masking the parts I want to show. This will require the usage of the brush tool. The foreground layer right now is white, meaning I'll be able to mask in the parts of the layer I'm working on, but if I change that to black, anywhere I brush on will begin to unmask or disappear. We strategically took the photos in a specific way, so editing all of the packing peanuts will be an easy process. Keep in mind, when you're masking in parts of a layer, only do what is actually needed. This will save a lot of time in the end. I'm going to fast forward this real quick because I essentially utilized the same technique for the rest of the layers that needed to be used to populate the floor with the packing peanuts. Alright, so with the addition of 4 extra layers, the floor has been completely covered. I can actually move on to putting Tyra into the photo. I decided to get her head first as this was the easiest part of the photo to blend since it didn't take too much space. It was essential that when we took this That's photo, really the packing peanuts surrounded her neck area and both sides of her face. This made the blending much easier. The same techniques were applied yet again. I moved the photo I wanted to use as the most top layer, created a new layer mask, click Ctrl I, and started using the brush tool to mask in only her head. So, there was a lighting change I did not notice by the time we shot this part of the photo. It's obviously darker if you compare the packing peanuts lighting of the head photo to the original floor photos. I fixed this by tinkering with the brightness and contrast until it matched up better. After that, there were a couple details that looked a little off where the packing peanuts looked like they were melted together. So I went to use my brush tool and started unmasking certain sections to blend the overall area better. The next part of the photo I wanted to put in was the box where her feet will be sticking out of. I did decide to remove the bag before adding in the new layer due to some problems. So once again, I used the same techniques, but this time, masking required a little bit more precision where I had to constantly zoom in really close to get to those pixels. Shadows weren't supposed to be in certain areas, and to be honest, I had to do a lot of fixes, but I won't be able to get into that here. So yeah, some magic later, this layer was finally finished. As bad as this sounds, each new section of the photo I was going through was just going to be harder. It required a ton of precise masking, lighting manipulation, movement of the mask itself, and a bunch of other things. I would like to reiterate that if you can take the pictures perfectly, it'll make the editing process so much easier. Once I got this box to look good, I added her hands in. This did require me to move the layer itself so I can match it up correctly. So, now I will start with the hardest part to implement, and that's where only her upper body is seemingly inside the box. This part gets super complicated really fast. We did make it easier by actually cutting up the box in certain sections so she could be posed within the box correctly, and I say that with quotes. To make a long story short, I utilize the same old techniques I've mentioned throughout this video on the next few layers, but with added difficulty times 100. I'm going to stop commentary for the next minute or so 
and show you guys a speed run on how I did the next few layers. See you again in a few minutes. Alright, hello again. I finally got that finished. Honestly, it took a little over an hour, but I got it done. I got one more section to do, and that is to add her legs sticking out of the box. What makes this part unique is that I use a technique called expansion, where you basically take another photo in another direction while keeping the dead point, as I would like to call it, in frame when taking an expansion shot. I basically tilted the camera up slightly and took another shot. Remember when we had to make sure all the packing peanuts had to surround her neck? Well, we had to do the same thing again for her legs. She thought of the genius idea to tape the packings onto her leg. This is all solely to make the blending more seamless. In Photoshop, I used the crop tool to expand the photo upwards a bit. I then moved the leg photo I wanted to use and moved it into place. This layer required to be moved around a bit more so it can match up with the box. About 30 minutes later, after lighting adjustments, intense precision masking, and constant readjustment, I finally was able to finalize the last part of the photo. So it took us about 2 hours to shoot everything, another couple hours to edit, this includes the Lightroom section, and voila, you got one interesting visual to show off. If you made it to the end of the tutorial, I just wanted to thank you guys a lot for watching and I hope to see you again for the next visual. Be sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. If you guys have any questions or requests for another tutorial, let me know. And as always, happy editing. Hey. Say hi. Hello camera. Hello camera. Look at your face. Hello camera.